Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Which calculator is best for AP calculus and pre calculus is a question that I keep getting over and over and over. First of all, I really appreciate all the questions and comments. It, it really gives me a lot to think about. And let me get to this to be very, very plain about. There are, in my opinion, two excellent calculators on the market right now. And the best of those are the TI Inspire and the TI Inspire CAS. It doesn't, they don't have to be CXs, but TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS, both made by Texas Instruments. Somebody out there is going to argue that the TI-89 Titanium is, is also wonderful and great. It is, but if I had to put them in order, one, two, three, I would probably put them in order uh, TI Inspire CAS, then TI Inspire, and then TI-89 Titanium, and we can have that argument later. There are no other calculators, not the Casio Prism, not any Hewlett Packard stuff, not anything that I think is honestly comparable, and I'm happy to hear your, your argument, but it's going, to, you're going to, you're going to, it's going to fall on deaf ears, I think. Um, but let me say, of these two calculators, the one that I think you should have is the CAS. Let's say it again. You should have the CAS, the Computer Algebra System. Why do I think that? Uh, the answer is actually pretty straightforward. So we go back to something like this. I have my calculator set in, I have my calculator set in radian measure. So I ask myself, I ask my calculator, what is sine of pi force? The TI Inspire CAS will come back with a symbolic answer of square root of 2 over 2 because it recognizes that there's this symbolic, there's this appropriate symbolic solution. And if you know anything about the unit circle or, or have looked at it much, you'll know that that says a lot. Because if you put in sine of pi force, this is the answer you're looking for. You're looking to get back square root of 2 over 2. However, if you're using any other calculator, including the TI Inspire, non CAS, you are going to get this answer back. So when you ask this question, you're going to get this answer back with a non-CAS. Now, that could be okay if you recognize that and you're like, okay, this doesn't make sense. I wonder if that's square root 2 over 2. You could put in your calculator, square root 2 over 2, hit divide, it's going to give you this back. Then you could hit control, enter, and it will give you this back. And you can say, oh, my, my CX gave me back this answer, but that's equivalent to this. It's a, it's a pain, and you don't have time for that on the AP exam or in college trig or pre-calculus. So I'll say that. Also, no other calculator can really do a great job of finding derivatives. The, the TI Inspire CAS can not only find derivatives, it can find derivatives at a point, find second derivatives at a point, third derivatives at a point. It is unparalleled. So now you're, you're saying, look, I don't want to hear this. My whoever already gave me a TI Inspire CX, what should I do? First off, don't be upset, it's a great calculator, but if we're talking best, it's not the best. What should you do possibly? I don't know, you're rich? If you're rich, give the, give the, uh, give the first one away and ask your parents for a cast. If you're not rich like me, you might say, you might go on to eBay and sell it, and then get the money off of eBay, and then buy, buy a used one on eBay for the difference. There are ways to do this. So I, I don't want to go on uh, too much about this, but if you're taking the uh, AP Calc exam, you're taking AP Chem exam, this is the calculator you want to use. You want to use TI Inspire, TI Inspire CAS, C-A-S, CAS. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks, you guys, and I hope this was helpful.